A few years ago we flew a water rocket with a long boom sticking out sideways so that we could get a different perspective on the rocket during its flight. This setup caused a lot of drag on the rocket and as a result the flight was quite short and a fairly low altitude. The boom was also quite visible in the shot. So fast forward to this week and we decided to revisit the boom but wanted to make it deployable so that it is tucked up against the rocket during the fastest part of the flight and then it would release later on. The boom is just made from wooden dowels as before. One end of the boom is mounted at the very bottom of the rocket on an aluminium ring. This provides the anchor point for the pivot points of the boom. The whole ring is then just tightened around the bottom bottle. Uh, we have to orient this so that it's not interfering with the parachute. So. The boom is held against the rocket with a rubber band that's wrapped all the way around the rocket. One end of the rubber band then hooks over a servo motor and one of our servo timers is used to activate the servo at a preset amount of time after launch. Here we're doing a release test to make sure that the mechanism works. The boom's pretty flexible so we're hoping the video won't be too shaky. On top of the boom we have a small aluminium plate that we can easily bend to point the camera where we want. And attached to that is a 3D printed mount for the camera. If the boom hits the ground first, the top of the boom should help protect the camera on impact. The camera itself is just an 808 keychain camera. The whole rocket was filled with 1.8 litres of water and a bit of shampoo to help reduce the top speed. And then the whole thing was put on the launch pad. To stop the boom just freely swinging all the way down below the rocket, we attached a couple of small strings to stop it doing that. Everything was then turned on and armed. Okay, so let's have a look at the launch and the onboard video. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> All right, heads up that little bit of burn, which is timber, is coming down. That's the camera. Yeah, she's out in the water. <laughs> And again in slow motion. Well, that didn't turn out all that great. The deflected air over the rocket caused the top of the boom to bend away from the rocket and with increasing speed proceeded to increase drag and then snap the boom in half. The place where it snapped was right at the rubber band that was holding it down. And at least the camera survived. The rocket otherwise landed safely under parachute. So we decided to have another go, after a few quick repairs taping the boom back together. But this time we shortened it so that the camera was just over the top of the nose cone. The rocket was refilled with water and put back on the pad. And here's the second launch. Because of the higher winds at the time, we decided to point the launch rail into the wind this time a little bit. We added an extra one second delay to the boom deployment and set it to one second before the parachute deployment so that we could catch the parachute deploying. And here's the view it captured. Because the boom was shortened, we didn't quite get to see the entire rocket in view, but the rocket certainly flew a lot higher this time, and the boom also didn't get into the way of the shot.
The boom behaved itself this time. Fairly close to us. It's in the trees. Oh, oh look at that. <laughs> We were pretty lucky that the rocket just managed to miss the trees on the way down. Let us know in the comments how you'd improve this experiment. With the camera attached by the bottom of the rocket, we got a unique perspective on how much the rocket stretches under pressure. Here we're toggling between no pressure and full pressure. <laughs> 